Our approach in responding to the drought, and this came directly from our board of directors and Cal Waters president and CEO, is we want to have a customer first approach. We don't want to be out there finding people. We don't want to be penalizing people. I think at the end of the drought, if we haven't had to penalize a single one of our customers, we're going to be elated about that because it means that we were able to educate our customers through meetings like this. We we're able to work with each and every one of them to make sure that they have the tools and information necessary to comply with restricted use of, prohibited uses of water. We've got a 36% reduction that our customers in Palos Verdes on the peninsula are going to have to achieve in 20, 2015 versus 2013. It makes sense to look at what was achieved in 2014. Unfortunately, we only had a very small reduction in water use in 2014 versus 2013. That's the thick blue uh, bar on the bottom. It was a 4% reduction. So to get to where we need to get to by the end of 2015, it's an additional 32% reduction that we're going to have to get this year uh, for the rest of the year through February 2016 uh, to get to where the governor has told us that we need to be at. Uh 2013 at the beginning of 2014 for us we were in a remodel okay. so our water usage was almost nil what do i do before june 4th or 1st to appeal that right so that that's the exact type of thing that is going to be you're going to be able to go through the appeal process to look at what the water use was in 2013 versus 2014 uh, and we'll be able to work on that with you based on the number of people that are in the household, et cetera. You want to be able to take in all those unique circumstances into account. I would like to know if you touched on it a little bit, the fact that we are going to be conserving it for some of us a significant change. Yes. How do you deal with revenue versus rates? I don't want to get another bill, another letter a year from now saying, well, the rates have been, you know, we've, everybody's conserved, revenue has dropped, we all know nothing is free. Yeah. You're talking about free toilets, free nozzles, free sprinkler heads, free services for people to come do um, the conservation surveys. Right. So how are we looking at the revenue stream and how that's going to be supported without rate raises? So uh, one, one of the other, uh, the first question I think related to the water revenue adjustment mechanism. And so that's what our plan thinking. is to apply any of those surcharges that our customers do incur for going over their water budget to account for that loss of revenue. In terms of the penalties that you're, that you're talking about or that we were just talking about, the $1,500 penalty, our hope is, again, that we don't have to impose those on anybody. If we do, that revenue is going to be used to offset the cost that, of our programs and the efforts that we're making okay. to, uh, to comply with the governor's executive okay. order and the State Water Resource Control Board. Now, that being said, I'm, I, I can't make a pledge and say that rates are never going to go up.